All right, so thank you for joining me for a 60 minute 26 into yoga class. We're gonna do 26 postures, two breathing exercises. We'll move around, we'll get into our bodies. I promise it'll be fun. Um, if anything that we do in class doesn't work for you, remember that you can skip it, you can modify, or you can do something else entirely. Yoga is challenging at times. Um, it can be challenging physically as well as mentally, emotionally, spiritually, but it's never meant to cause harm. In fact, that's the number one rule of yoga is to do no harm. As some of you may know, tomorrow is Indigenous Peoples Day in Washington, D.C. and in Seattle, where I am from. It is no longer called Columbus Day. Um, and as an activity in honor of that, I'd like us to start with a moment of land acknowledgement. So if you know um, like what Native American tribe you are currently, what uh, land you are on, you can take a moment to silently um, acknowledge that. So in Seattle, mom is on occupied Duwamish territory. In Northwest DC, I believe I am on occupied Piscataway territory. And this is a nice way just to ground ourselves in the here and now and the reality of our situation. Right, so thank you for joining me in that to begin. We're going to do three rounds of sun salutations to warm up and then we'll hop into 26 and 2 yoga. Um, I will walk us through the sun salutations the way that I walk us through everything else. Remember, just listen to your body, have fun. You're going to come towards the top of your mat with your feet close together. I'm going to stand back a little bit and I'll show you from the side and periphery. Take a moment, bring the weight into your toes, rock the weight back into your heels, and then just Settle yourself in the here and now. Okay, we'll begin with three rounds of Surya Namaskar, a sun salutation. Bring your hands together, heart center. And as you inhale, lift your arms up overhead, looking up as if you were saluting the sun. As you exhale, suck your stomach in, bend your knees, put your hands on the floor, drop your head down, go down. Inhale, halfway lift. You can have your hands on your thighs, your shins or the floor in front of you. Chin away from your chest, weight in your toes, spine straight. Exhale, bend your knees, put your hands on the floor and step back into a high plank or into a tabletop. You're welcome to stay here or take a vinyasa. Lean forward two inches, hug your elbows into your sides and lower down halfway. Inhale, come up into a back bend. You can do baby cobra with elbows bent and thighs on the floor or up dog with arms straight and thighs off the floor. Exhale, tuck your toes under, lift your hips up for down dog. And if down dog does not work for you today, no problem. Take a sun sat or sorry, take a um, child's pose instead. So every plank can be a tabletop. Every down dog can be a child's pose. And if you'd like to skip that lowering down motion, the vinyasa, skip it. Go right from your plank directly into your down dog or right from your um, tabletop directly into your child's pose. Okay. On your next inhale, look forward, hands on the floor. Step forward into a halfway lift. Exhale, bend your knees, drop your head down. Inhale, reach your eyes, come up, arms of your ears looking up overhead. Exhale, hands down at heart center. Great, two more. Inhale, lift your arms up, looking up. Exhale, fold forward, bend your knees, drop your head. Inhale, halfway lift, weight in your toes, back flat, chin away from your chest. Exhale, bend your knees, put your hands on the floor and step back into your high plank or tabletop. Remember, you're welcome to go straight from here directly into your um, down dog or child's pose. Otherwise, on your next exhale, go forward two inches, hug your elbows in, lower down. Inhale, come up into your back bend, either your cobra pose or your up dog. For up dog, the only parts of your body touching the floor should be your feet and your hands. Exhale, tuck your toes under and lift your hips up either for down dog or sink your hips down for child's pose. So for child's pose, reach your arms forward, sink your hips down, stretch your spine. For down dog, lift your hips up, contract your thighs and press your heels down. Spread your shoulders wide, spread your fingers wide, root down through all 28 knuckles, especially the space between your index finger and thumb. On your next inhale, look forward, step forward, halfway lift. Exhale, bend your knees, head down. Inhale, come on up, arms with your ears, looking up, saluting the sun. Exhale, hands down at heart center. Good, last one, inhale, lift your arms up, looking up. Exhale, fold forward, drop your head. Inhale, halfway lift, looking forward. Exhale, hands on the floor, step back into your high plank. Keep exhaling, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, come up into your up dog or baby cobra. Exhale, tuck your toes under, lift your hips up, down dog or child's pose. 
Try to get your heels closer to the floor for down dog. You might have to take a slightly wider stance. Lift your hips up, drop your head down, contract your thighs, spread your shoulders wide. Take an inhale, take an exhale. Inhale, look forward, step forward. Exhale, bend your knees, head down. Inhale, come on up, arms with your ears looking up. Exhale, hands down at heart center. Wonderful. So that was our little warm up. And from here, we will do traditional 26 and two yoga. So happy to be here with you guys. Bring your feet close together, toes, heels touching nicely. Interlock your 10 fingers, cross your thumbs, glue your knuckles underneath your chin. Rock your weight into your heels. Relax your shoulders down away from your ears. You made it to class. Concentrate, meditate, and begin. Inhale, chin down and arms up. Breathe in through your nose. Lift your elbows up. Suck your stomach in. Fill up your lungs. Exhale, head up. Exhale through your mouth. H-A. Sound. Head back. Arms forward. Elbows touch. Good. Inhale. Chin down slowly. Bring your chin down. Look straight ahead. Lift your elbows all the way up. Fill up your lungs. Exhale, head up, slowly push your head back, look way, way, way back for the wall behind you, arms forward, elbows touch. Inhale, head down, breathe in through your nose, down through your throat to the very bottom of your lungs. Exhale, head up, as you exhale, open your mouth wide, push the air out, stretch the arms forward, elbows touch. Inhale, head down, every new inhale, you wanna take in more air than the last breath to expand your lung capacity. Exhale, head up. The more you exhale here, the more fresh oxygen you can take in on your next breath. Push the air out. Inhale, head down. This is the last breath in the first set. Make it the deepest breath of your day so far. Chin down, elbows up, stomach in. Breathe deep, full lungs. Exhale, take your time. Eyes open, hips forward, legs locked, stomach in. Keep exhaling, push, squeeze, elbows touch. Good, change. Arms down, you can roll out your shoulders, your head. Second set, feet together, interlock your 10 fingers, cross your thumbs, go loo your knuckles under your chin, squeeze your thighs, squeeze your butt, grow taller out of the base of your spine, and begin, inhale, chin down and arms up, breathing in through the nose, against the back of the throat, lift your elbows up, fill up your lungs. Exhale, head up, slowly head drops back. Keep your shoulders down, elbows up, triceps parallel to the floor. Inhale, head down for one, two, three, four, five, six, full lungs. Exhale, head up, six, five, four, three, two, elbows touch, one. Inhale, head down, keep the weight in your heels, glue your ankle bones together, squeeze your inner thighs, squeeze your butt. Exhale, head up, lock your legs, weight stays in your heels, hips a little forward, hip muscles contracting, thigh muscles tight. Inhale, head down as you inhale, open your rib cage wide, expand your rib cage, expand your lung capacity. Exhale, head up, even as you exhale, stomach in, eyes open, arms forward, elbows touch. Good, inhale, head down, last breath, second set, deepest breath of your life when your lungs are totally full, surprise yourself, take in one more sip of air. Exhale, head up, take your time, let everything go through the exhale breath. Any worries or cares, let them go. Be here now, elbows touch. Good, change, arms down. We'll continue with half moon with hands to feet pose. Keep your feet together. Inhale your arms over your head, palms together. Interlock your fingers, release your index fingers, cross your thumbs, nice tight grip. Stretch up out of your waist and bend right and left, right and left. A little bit of a warm up at the beginning of class and a little bit of a check in. Like I'm feeling pretty crunchy today. I don't know about you, but just listening to what your body's telling you. Don't be so concerned about how far you go into the postures. Just make sure that you're breathing into the body and feeling good. When you can't stretch anymore, come to stop in the middle. Bring the weight into your heels, lock your legs and push your hips a little forward. Squeeze your palms together, upper body back. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, absolutely straight line, slowly bend your body to the right. Without bending your elbows and knees, continuously push your hips to the left beyond your flexibility. You're trying to create a tremendous stretching feeling in the left side of your body, all over, inside out, bones to skin, fingers to toes. Just remember, it's the first posture of the day and there's no rush, nowhere you need to be, nothing you have to prove to yourself or to anyone else. All you need to do is breathe in and out through your nose. Let your breath be your guide as you inhale, lengthen your arms. As you exhale, come down, push, push, 
push, change, inhale to come up, stop in the middle, hips forward, arms back, stretch up tall, and slowly bend to the left as you push your hips to the right, coming down in a straight line. No bending elbows, no bending knees. If elbows and knees are bending, come up a little bit, push your biceps into your ears, squeeze your palms together, contract your quads, contract your glutes, suck your stomach in. Keep your chin lifted, chest proud, weight in your heels, come down, push, 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 change, inhale to come up. First back bend, I'll show you from the side, take a deep breath, full lungs, keep your eyes open, relax your head all the way back, look for the floor behind you, and then bring your arms back with your ears, try to touch the wall behind you. So whole spine back bending from coccyx to the neck looks good. Lower back, middle back, upper back, bend your total spine. Backward bending, try to fall down backwards, maximum weight in your heels. Inhale, breathing, push stomach, thighs, hips, everything forward and bring your arms back. Look back, fall back, way back, go back, more back, good. Change, inhale to come up, stretch up. Exhale, bend your knees, fold forward. Put your hands on the floor, drop your head and go for a walk, move your hips. Shake your head. This is a U-turn from back bending to forward folding. At the beginning of class, your spine might not be quite warmed up yet. Move your hips to get your lower back nice, relaxed, comfortable, easy, flexible. Hands to feet pose, padasasana, bend your knees halfway. You can grab the backs of your calves, your Achilles, or eventually your heels from underneath, stepping on all 10 fingers. Wrap your elbows back, touch stomach to thighs, chest to knees, maybe even face to the shins below the knees, no room for light and air between the upper and lower body. Pull on your heels, roll your weight into your toes and lift your hips up. Stretch your upper body down from the lower spine to the floor. Pulling is the object of stretching. Pull on your heels, roll forward, lift your hips up, stretch your spine down. Good, change, come up, arms with your ears, knees can bend. Nice, arms down and you stand a little taller. Second set, feet together, inhale your arms over your head. Palms together, interlock your fingers, release your index fingers, cross your thumbs, nice tight grip. Push your hips forward, bring your arms back with your ears, stretch up out of your waist and slowly drop to the right as you push your hips to the left, coming down without bending the elbows or knees. Keep the weight in your heels, lock your legs and push your hips a little forward. Suck your stomach in, upper body back, biceps with your ears. Push your left hip forward, get your two hips in line, right shoulder forward, two shoulders in line, come down, push, 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 change, inhale to come up, reset, hips forward, arms back, stretch up and slowly drop to the left as you push your hips to the right. Make sure that you're breathing with a relaxed jaw. Keep the weight in your heels, glue your ankle bones together and push your hips forward. Suck your stomach in, slide your breastbone up, squeeze your palms together. Push your right hip forward, keep your two hips in line. Now bring your left shoulder forward, open your chest like a flower petal blooming, come down, push and push and push, change, and heel to come up. Second heart opener. It's a little bit hard for me to talk and do it once, so I'll talk you through it, and then I'll walk you through it. Take a deep breath, full lungs, keep your eyes open, relax your head back first, eyes open, and then bring your arms back with your ears. So whole spine backward bending. If your knees or elbows are bending, come up a little bit, lock your legs, lock your arms, push stomach, thighs, hips, everything forward and bring your arms back for 10 seconds. Back bending. Good, change, inhale to come up, stretch up first. Exhale, bend your knees, fold forward. Go down, drop your head, move your hips, shake your head. So sometimes when we do those back bends, we kind of see stars or we get a little bit dizzy. So very much on purpose, we're going forward here. Lots of fresh blood into the brain. Padastasana, hands to feet pose, second set, bend your knees, grab your heels from behind and wrap your elbows back, stomach to thighs, chest to knees, drop your head, soften your neck, maybe face to the shins. Pull on your heels, roll your weight into your toes and lift your hips up. Eventually the legs will off. Doesn't have to be today or tomorrow. For today, keep the upper body on the lower body. Pull on your heels, roll forward, lift your hips up. Try to lock your legs. Good, change, come up. Arms with the ears, knees can bend. Nice, arms down and you let that go. Awkward Ukatasana, step your right foot to the right, six inches, hip width distance, insides of your feet parallel, arms up. 
Parallel to the floor, tricep muscles tight. Suck your stomach in, bend your knees, sit back and down into a chair, feet flat position. Spine straight to begin with 100% of your body weight in your heels. Sit down, halfway only hips into a chair. Suck your stomach in and lean your upper body back. Depression to abdominal wall, contraction to abdominal muscles. Suck it in, hold it in tight, a little bit more weight back into your heels. Now lift your chin up, chest up, lean back, fall back, way back, try to fall down backwards at the end. Good, change. Inhale to come up, keep your arms there. Push your hips a little forward. Now come up maximum on your tiptoes like a ballerina. Stretch up first, bend your knees, sit down. So we're starting to play with balance. Engage your lower abdominal wall and lean back. Lift your heels a little higher, knees a little higher, sit down into a chair, but don't sit below a chair. Change, inhale to come up, last part. Squeeze your knees together. Let your heels come just a little bit off the floor and slowly sit down. The slower you do, the better you do. Stop whenever you want or when you're a half inch off your heels. Squeeze your knees together and forward, lift your chest, relax your jaw and change. Slowly push the floor away from you as you come up. Good, heels down, right foot back, arms down. Second set, step your right foot to the right hip width distance. I'll show you from the side. Keep the insides of your feet parallel, arms up, parallel to the floor. Tricep muscles tight, suck your stomach in. Three, two, one, bend your knees, sit down. So in the first part, you wanna stick your butt out and fold your chest forward to keep sitting down as you open your hips. Suck your stomach in and lean your upper body back, roll your shoulders back and down, lift your chin up, chest up. Good, change, inhale to come up, keep your arms there, tilt your pelvis forward, and now come up all the way on your tip toes. Stretch up, bend your knees, sit down. So rather than sticking your butt out and leaning forward, you wanna push your hips forward and lean back. Heels a little higher, knees a little higher, sit down into a chair, but don't sit below a chair. Change, inhale to come up. Last part, squeeze your knees together, let your heels come just a little off the floor, and slowly sit down to a count of 10 in your head. The slower you do, the better you do. Squeeze your knees together. Stop when you're a little bit lifted. So never resting on the heels, right? Come up a little bit, suck your stomach in and change. Slowly push the floor away from you. Good, heels down, right foot back, arms down. Eagle pose, Garasana, we'll do the right side first. I'm not mirroring you, so just keep that in mind. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, swing your right arm under your left arm. Right under left, you can grab shoulders, you can interlace fingers, or you can have hands in prayer, thumbs towards your nose. Pull your elbows down, bend your knees, sit down. Lean back and bring your right leg over your left leg as high as possible. Cross your legs each other, twist like wet ropes, try to wrap your right foot behind your left calf muscle. If your foot is coming out, sit down more. If you're losing your balance, arch your upper body back. Bring knees to the right, upper body to the left, twist like ropes, sit down more, arch your upper body back at the end. Good, change feet together, arms over your head, other side. Bring your left arm under your right arm, left under right, palms together, thumbs towards your face. Pull elbows down, bend your knees, sit down, stay down there, lift your chest, keep your hips low, and bring your left leg over your right leg up and over, cross twist and breathe. Now, as you start to wrap your foot, it's normal for the knees to twist way to one side. So bring your knees to the left and upper body to the right. You want wrists over elbows, elbows over knees, knees over ankle, weight in your heel. Sit down more, arch your upper body back. Good, change, feet together, arms over your head, right in the second set. Bring your right arm under your left arm, Palms together, try to line up your fingers and have wrists straight. It is so hard. Pull your elbows down, bend your knees, sit down, lean back and bring your right leg over your left leg. So eventually the wrists will be straight, right? Notice if your wrists are bending or one hand is way higher than the other, eventually you're going for fingers in line and wrists straight. Uh, I'm not there yet, but that's what we're working towards. Push your left hip forward, two hips in line, right shoulder forward, two shoulders in line, Sit down more, arch your upper body back. Good, change. Feet together, arms over your head. Last one, finish strong. Left arm under right arm, palms together, wrist straight, pull elbows down, bend your knees, sit down, lean back, and bring your left leg over your right leg. On the other side, I can kind of get my fingers in line, but in this one, my right hand is way higher than my left hand. And that's really normal, right? We're not symmetrical. So a little bit lower, relax your jaw, pull elbows down, Arch your upper body back. Good, change feet together, arms over your head. 
arms down, party time. Grab a sip of water if you want. Cheers. Okay, go team. So for the next three postures, we continue to balance on one leg. Um, if you fall out, just hop back in. So you always end on one leg. Standing head to knee, Dandre Mana, Chandu Shirasana. Shift your weight to your left leg, block your left leg, and lift your right leg up. Point your toes, flex your toes, keep your toes flexed back, suck your stomach in. Start to round down and pick up your right foot. All 10 fingers interlocked. Nice tight grip, don't lose the grip. If you've been coming for a while and you know your left leg is locked, no bend, no wobble, inhale, slowly, gently lift your right leg up. Stretch it forward until your right leg is exactly parallel to the floor. No higher, no lower, standing leg locked. If both legs locked, start to bend your elbows down. Touch elbows to calf muscles. One day elbows go below the calf muscles. Lock your knee, lock your knee, lock your knee. Good, change, slowly reverse out. Shift your weight to your right leg. Evenly distribute your body weight on your right foot and lift your left leg up. Point your toes, flex your toes, keep your toes flexed back. Option to stay here, or when you're ready, start to round forward, compressing the abdominal wall and pick up your left foot. All 10 fingers interlocked. Standing legs should be solid concrete, one piece, lamp post unbroken. If your right leg is locked, inhale, lift your left leg up. And it's a real kick, your heel forward, flex your toes back, breathe through your nose. If both legs lock from the side legs, make an L like Linda, bend elbows down. Touch elbows to calf muscles. Keep bringing your chest down. One day elbows go below the calf muscles. Heel forward, toes back, stomach in. Good, change, slowly reverse out. You can put your hands on your back and do a little back bend, ha, huh? or an even, hmm. Second set, shift your weight to your left leg. Contract your inner thigh as well as your outer thigh. Lift your right leg up, toes back, stomach in, round down. Pick up your right foot, webbing to webbing grip. Concentrate, meditate. Don't forget to have fun, here we go. Lift your right leg up. Heel forward, toes back. If both legs lock from the side legs, make an L, bend elbows down. If elbows go below calf muscles and you can balance comfortably, slowly tuck your chin to your chest. Put your forehead on your knee. Lock your knee. Lock your knee. Lock your knee. Good, change, take your time as you reverse out. Shift your weight to your right leg, contract your inner thigh as well as your outer thigh and lift your left leg up. Toes back, belly in, round down and pick up your foot. My balance has been so off this week. I think it's seasonal transitions, but I'm not sure. If your right leg is locked, no bend, no wobble, lift your left leg up. Maybe it's my flu shot. Make sure you get your flu shot. Kick your heel forward, flex your toes back, breathe through your nose. If both legs lock, bend elbows down. Elbows go below your calf muscles, slowly tuck your chin to your chest and put your forehead on your knee. Hold where you are for five, four, three, two, one. Change, take your time as you reverse that. Nice, so that was a forward curl. We compress the abdomen. Next we do a back bend, opening the chest. Standing bow pulling pose. Feet together, bring your right hand up. Elbow touches the body, palm faces the ceiling. Bring your hand out to the right and give yourself a high five for practicing yoga today. Yes, keep your palm facing up, reach back, and without turning or twisting your arm, pick up the inside of your right foot at the ankle bone, knees together. Bring your left arm up and back with your ear. Lock your left leg, point your right toes, take a deep breath, stretch up, and go for it, charge your body forward. Simultaneously kick your right leg back and up to the ceiling. Slowly come down, abdomen and chest parallel to the floor. See the foot come directly over the top of your head. So from the side, two heels in line. Kick back and up until your right shoulder disappears behind your left shoulder. In other words, two shoulders in line. Touch your chin to your shoulder, shoulder blade, scapula coming out of the body, body down more, leg up more, kick, kick, kick. Good, change. Kick yourself up, take a moment. <laughs> Reset, bring your left hand up, bring it out to the left, reach back, pick up the inside of your left foot at the ankle bone, right arm up, knees together, lock your right leg, point your left toes, take a deep breath, stretch up, and go for it, charge your body forward. Simultaneously kick your left leg back and up. Kicking and stretching should be equal, simultaneous, 50-50, 
The harder you kick, you can balance forever. If you fall out, you're not kicking hard enough. Hop back in, push your left foot into your hand, and then slide your right shoulder forward. Body down more, leg up more. Keep your chin and chest lifted. Kick, kick, kick. Good, change, kick yourself up. Take a moment, second set, bring your right hand up. Bring it out to the right, reach back. Pick up the inside of your right ankle, at the ankle, left arm up, knees together, hips in line. Lock your left leg, point your right toes, lift your chin, stretch up, and slowly kick, stretch, and breathe. Notice if your mind is wandering, be here now. Kick into your hand, stretch forward, breathe through your nose. Keep your chin and chest lifted, jaw relaxed, belly down to parallel. Body down more, chest up more. Try to touch your big toe to the ceiling. Kick, kick, kick. Very nice change, come on up. Last one, bring your left hand up. You can do it, reach back without turning or twisting your wrist. Pick up the inside of your left ankle. At the ankle, knees together, hips in line. Bring your right arm up and all the way back with your ear. Lock your right leg, point your left toes, lift your chest up one more time and go for it. Charge your body forward. Keep your standing leg locked. Left toes pointed, all five fingers together, thumb with your index finger, palm of your right hand faces the floor, get your right arm exactly parallel to the floor, no higher, no lower, lock your right leg. Slowly come down, chest down more, keep kicking, leg up more, you can do it, kick, kick, kick. Very nice change, kick yourself up. Come to the back of your mat and tell Tool and Dasana, balancing stick, feet together, inhale your arms over your head, Palms together, interlock your fingers, release your index fingers, cross your thumbs, lean back, and puff up your chest. Step your right foot forward a big step, lock both legs, point your left toes, and tilt like a seesaw, slow moving seesaw. Arms, body, head, legs, everything parallel to the floor. From the side, body makes a T, like Tom, not a broken umbrella. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Good, change left foot down, right foot back, Arms back with your ears, step your left foot forward, lock both legs, point your right toes, and slowly tilt. Charge your body forward the whole time. Point your right toes the whole time. Can you lock your right leg a little bit more? Body down more, heel up more, squeeze your palms, and stretch. Good, change right foot down, left foot back, arms down. Can you hold still for one breath? Second set, feet together, arms overhead, palms together, interlock fingers, release index fingers, cross thumbs, step your right foot forward, lock both legs, point your left toes, and tilt. So the name of the game is keep your arms with your ears, push your biceps into your ears, suck your stomach in, chest down more, heel up more, stretch. Good, release, left foot down, right foot back. Last one, here we go, step your left foot forward, lock both legs, Point your right toes and tilt. If you're late, it's over. Chest down more, don't be late. Drop your right hip down, right heel up. Point your right toes, squeeze your palms, stretch. Good, change, right foot down, left foot back, arms down. Enough of that, come to the top of your mat. You're welcome to face the long side of your mat, but I'm gonna continue to face you. We're gonna flow the next three postures twice. Starting with standing, separate leg stretching. Inhale your arms over your head. Exhale, step your right foot to the right, four feet minimum, big step, arms down parallel to the floor. Turn your toes in. If you have active sciatica, keep your toes pointing forward, otherwise toes in. Lock your legs, lift your chest, and swan dive forward. Lead with your heart all the way down. If you don't have a heart, lead with your ribs all the way down. Grab your heels from behind, keep coming back to yoga, you will cry eventually. If you can't grab your heels, no problem, take a bigger step. See if you can grab the outsides of your feet or start with your hands on the floor in front of you. Everybody roll forward, lift your hips up, lock your legs, pull stretch, try to touch your forehead to the floor in between your feet. Good, change, slowly come up for triangle, trikonasana, turn your right foot out and then take a bigger step. Good, bend your right leg and sit down. Lean back and move your arms at the same time. Right elbow in front of the knee. Hover your right fingers just above the big and second toe. Don't touch the floor. Don't push any weight on the floor. Look up to the ceiling. Touch your chin to your shoulder. Breathe in and out through your nose. Push your left hip forward and down. Push your right knee back with the help of your elbow. Turn. Twist upper body back. Lock your left leg, left foot flat on the floor. Nice change. Rotate your arms. Straighten your right leg. Right toes in. 
left toes out, two heels in line, inhale, bend your left leg and lunge. You can always take a bigger or smaller step. You can always turn your right hip forward if it helps you sit down more. Lean back and move your arms, just the elbow in front of the knee. You want a diagonal line between your ankle all the way to the crown of your head. So if you can't sit down all the way, maybe it's just the wrist or forearm in front of the knee. Eventually, as you sit down, elbow in front of the knee, but you're never collapsing. Look up and stretch up. Lock your right leg, right foot, flat on the floor. Good, change. Rotate your arms, straighten your left leg, left toes in. Standing separate leg, head to knee pose. Arms overhead, palms together, only cross your thumbs. Take a slightly smaller step. Pivot on your heels to one side of the room. If you're on the long side of your mat, you will face the back of your mat. Turn your back toes in and then push your hips forward one, two, three, four, five times. Stretch up, tuck your chin to your chest, go down. Round your spine, chin tuck to chest, slough your stomach in, touch your forehead and knee together. Front side compression, throat choked, eyes open, breathing normal. Stretch all 10 fingers beyond your big and second toe, bring maximum weight to your right front leg, right hip up, left hip forward, two hips in line. Push your forehead into your knee a couple times, walk both legs, hands together, change, slowly uncurl, vertebra by vertebra, disc by disc, head up last. Good, pivot on your heels to the other side of the room. Uncross your feet so your heels are in line but not crisscross, and make sure you still have three to four feet between your toes. Bring your toes in so you can push your right hip forward. Stretch up, tuck your chin to your chest, go down. Press your right hip forward, left hip back, all the way down. You're trying to keep your hips even. Bend your front leg as much as you need. Touch knee and head together. Stretch your fingers forward. Bring your weight into your front foot. Left hip up. Steer your right hip forward one more time. Keep your two hips in line. Push forehead into knee. Lock both legs. Hands together. Change. Slowly uncurl. Go slow. That's where you get the balance, the control. Head up last. Good. Pivot on your heels. Right foot back arms down. So if you can go slowly into the uh, into that last posture, you can go a little bit slowly, more slowly into this one as well, right? So they're connected and it's a nice way to practice. Second set stretching, arms over your head, step your right foot to the right big step, arms down parallel, toes in, heels out, lock your legs, lift your chest and swan dive forward. If your forehead touched the floor in the first set, take a smaller step. If your forehead was nowhere near the floor, Play around with a slightly bigger step, but you never want your step so wide that you lose control of your legs. You want to feel this in the backs of your legs, your hamstrings, not your inner thighs. Roll forward, lift your hips up, lock your legs. First the legs stretching, then the hips stretching, lower spine, whole spine, whole body stretching, 360 degree angle stretching, coccyx to toes, coccyx to forehead, touch your forehead to the floor, in between your feet. Good, change, take your time as you come up, allowing blood flow to reverse. Triangle, second set, turn your right foot out, take a wider step, a bigger step, take your time, here we go, bend your right leg, sit down, lean back, and move your arms. Again, if you can't sit down very low, just work for the diagonal from your ankle to the crown of the head, maybe the forearm in front of the knee. Eventually, as you sit down, elbow in front of the knee, left arm up, look up and stretch up. So sit down more, chest up more, turn, twist upper body back, lock your left leg, left foot, flat on the floor, nice change. Move the arms, straighten your right leg, right toes in, left toes out, do a quick check, make sure your heels are in line. Okay, bend your left leg, sit down, lean back, and move your arms, elbow in front of the knee, right arm up to the ceiling, look up towards the ceiling, touch your chin to your shoulder, breathe, suck your stomach in, reach your right arm up, stretch your left arm down, turn, twist upper body back, lock your right leg, right foot, flat on the floor, good. Reverse out, rotate your arms, straighten your left leg, left toes in, second set, head to knee, arms up, palms together, cross your thumbs, take a little bit of a smaller step, pivot on your heels to one side of the room, and again, we're going to go slow with control, stretch up, tuck your chin to your chest, go down, so if you can go slow here, you can start to get a little bit of balance and control in all of your head to knee postures. Round your spine. Remember, you can bend your front leg, touch your knee and head together. Try to keep your hands together. Maybe just thumbs cross, maybe palms together, working on that balance, concentration, meditation. Push your forehead into your knee. Walk both legs, hands together. 
change. Imagine you're dragging your forehead up your by your chest, biceps with ears, head up last. Shift your weight into your heels, pivot to the other side of the room, adjust your step, two heels in line, turn your back toes in so you can press your right hip forward, peel your left shoulder back, stretch up, tuck your chin to your chest, go down. Can you look at your belly button all the way down? You cannot see your left foot all the way down. Stretch your fingers forward, bend your front leg, touch knee and head together. Take a slow inhale. And as you exhale, pull your abdomen in more, round your spine up to the ceiling. Good, push your forehead into your knee, lock both legs, hands together. Change, slowly uncurl, right hip forward, right shoulder forward, full stop at the top. Good for you, pivot on your heels, right foot back, arms down. Come to the middle of your mat and towel for a tree and then toe. Lock your left leg and lift your right leg up. You can put your foot on your shin, your knee, your thigh, eventually heel to costume. Slowly, gently let your right knee drop down and back, never force your knees. Right hand up to the center of your chest. And if you can balance, left hand up. You can stay here. You can also close a toe stand. Pick a spot on the floor, four feet in front of you. Don't move your eyes and fold forward. Fingers to floor. Walk your hands forward, lean forward, lift your heel, bend your knee, sit down. Walk your hands back to either sides of your hips. Whether you're in tree or toe, try to stretch up really tall. Point your right toes, right knee down. Left hand up, right hand up, elbows down, spine straight, come a half inch off your heel. Good. When you're ready, put your hands on the floor, lift your hips up to reverse out, straightening the standing leg first, and then pushing hips forward. You're welcome to come up on two feet if that feels safer for your body. Change, right leg down, walk your right leg, and lift your left leg up. And remember, this side might feel really different from the other one, it does for me. Touch your heel to your costume, let your left knee drop. You can bring your left hand up, and if you can balance right hand up, but if you're like me and your foot falls, just continue to hold on to your foot with your hand. Again, you can stay here, work on pushing your hips forward and lifting your chest up to open the hips and spine. Otherwise, toe stand, pick a spot on the floor, don't move your eyes, fold forward. Focusing on one spot helps with concentration, meditation, hands to floor, lean forward, lift your heel, bend your knee, sit down. Everybody point your left toes, left knee down, spine straight from the side. Left hand, right hand, chest up, come a half inch off your heel. Good. When you're ready, put your hands on the floor. Remember, you can come up on two feet or lift your hips up to straighten your standing leg and then push your hips forward. Good for you. Change, left leg down, honor yourself, give yourself high five, fist bump, turn around, savasana, head to the front of your mat, feet to the back of your mat. I'm gonna adjust this angle just a little bit. Okay, maybe, whoop. <laughs> Okay, uh oh, what's happening here? Turn around, Savasana, head to the front of your mat, feet to the back of your mat. Good, okay. So we'll take a quick little intermission here. Bring your heels together, let your toes fall open. Arms down by your sides, palms face the ceiling, eyes open, mouth closed. Savasana, take a slow inhale through your nose and a slow exhale through your nose. We carry on. Pavana Muktasana, wind removing pose. Lift your right leg up, interlock your 10 fingers, webbing to webbing grip. Grab your right shin just below the knee. Pull your knee out to the right, down towards your shoulder. Completely avoid your rib cage. Keep your head on the floor. Look down the center line of your body. Pull down extra hard. Good, change right leg down, left leg up. Pull your knee out and down and hold still. Try to keep your right leg on the floor. If your right calf muscle doesn't naturally touch the floor, that's normal. Try flexing your right toes back to your face. Good, change left leg down and both legs lift up. Grab your elbows to each other. Give yourself a really big hug for practicing yoga today. Good for you. Keep your head on the floor. Two heels in line, feet together, side by side, not crisscross. Without lifting your head, Gently look down the center line of your body and squeeze tight. Eventually, or in the future, when the bone joint skeletal system has improved, the whole spine from coccyx to the neck will be flat on the floor. Good, change, arms down and eyes open, still breathing. Second set, right leg up, interlock your 10 fingers, grab your right shin, pull your knee out and down and hold still. Push the pads of your fingers into the backs of your hands to strengthen your grip. Notice if you're rolling way to the right, try to get your left shoulder, left hip, left leg on the floor. 
change, right? Leg down, left leg up, pull your knee out and down towards your armpit. Eventually knee tucking under the armpit. Doesn't have to be today or tomorrow. We are purposely applying some pressure to the lower abdomen. This posture is called wind removing pose for a reason. Fun, change, left leg down, both legs up. Grab your elbows each other. And it's very much put at this point in class on purpose, right? It's nobody's first rodeo here. So like, I'm not giving anything away. After this, we lie on our stomach, right? So we're purposely trying to like help out stomach indigestion here before we do the spine strengthening series. Change, arms down and eyes open. So one of the things I love about this style of yoga, the postures individually are all wonderful, but the specific sequence that they're done in is um, really smart. Okay, next we do a straight leg sit up. If you have any concerns about your back, skip the sit up, roll off to the side, meet on your stomach. Otherwise, legs together, arms over your head. Flex your feet, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. Exhale, grab big toes. Exhale, elbows to floor, forehead to knees. Good, okay. Turn, lie on your stomach for the spine strengthening series, starting with Cobra Bhujangasana, good for your lower lumbar spine. Place your hands flat on the floor, just below your shoulders, so your elbows point up. Bring your feet together like a cobra's tail, toes, and heels touch. Lock your legs, look up, and lift. Stretch your upper body off the floor. Beautiful, use 100% spine strength. Come up halfway only, just your belly button on the floor, the rest of your chest is lifted. Elbows should stay bent, they make an L, a 90 degree angle, like a rectangle. Hug your arms into your sides, keep your feet together, lock your legs, push your feet down, hips down, hands down, look up, chin up, chest up, stretch up, breathe up, good, change, slowly lower down. Look to your right, left ear on the towel, arms down, palms face the ceiling, toes together, heels fall open. Take a slow inhale and a slow exhale. Second set, bring your chin forward, hands flat, feet together, fingers just below your shoulders. Lock your legs, contract your thighs, look up and lift. So this is the first posture in the spine strengthening series. We are starting to warm up our back muscles. Make sure your hands are on the floor. Um, so you're not hovering your hands above the floor, but you're also not pushing all of your weight onto the floor. It's this happy medium. You create a little bit of resistance with the hands and your mat to wake up your spine muscles. Change, slowly lower down, look to the left, right here on the towel. So all of these postures, we use a little bit of leverage with the arms. Locust, Shalabhasana, bring your chin forward, arm straight position, flip your palms down to face the floor, bring your arms underneath you as best you can, right, left, right, left, one day pinky fingers touch, lock your right leg, point your right toes, here we go, lift your right leg up for 10 seconds, contract your right thigh, point your right toes, stretch your big toe to the back wall, lift your thigh up, Good. change slowly right leg down relax your right leg lock your left leg point your left toes and lift your left leg up so it's a short posture and for a lot of us right it's a little bit uncomfortable that's okay spread your fingers wide push your shoulders down change left leg down but it's over before you know it right third part tuck your chin and mouth down bring your arms a little closer underneath you spread your fingers wide squeeze your butt lock your legs point your toes and lift both legs up, come up, everybody come up, you can do it, struggle a little harder, don't give up, mouth down, shoulders down, squeeze your butt, lock your legs, lift your heels up, good, change, slowly lower down, bring your arms out, look to the right, and take a breath. Heart's beating, as long as you're breathing, that means you get lots of fresh blood and oxygen into the fingers, the wrists, the elbows, and shoulders. Second set, bring your chin forward, arms straight, Rotate your palms down, palms face the floor, bring your arms underneath you, lock your right leg, point your right toes, and lift your right leg up. So we're purposely creating a little bit of a tourniquet effect on our arms here, while at the same time increasing heart rate. So when we release out of the posture, we get a lot of fresh blood to the limbs. Change, right leg down, relax your right leg, lock your left leg, point your left toes, and lift your left leg up. Stretch your big toe back, squeeze your left butt cheek, lock your left leg, lift your thigh up, hold here for three, two, one, good, change, left leg down, good, and finale, tuck your chin and mouth down, bring your arms a little closer, squeeze your butt, lock your legs, point your toes, and lift both legs up, you can do it, it's a mind over the matter posture, matter is usually the mind, mouth down, shoulders down, squeeze your butt, lock your legs, lift your thighs up, good, change, slowly lower down, bring your arms out, look to the left, and breathe, all you have to do is breathe, Next up, full locust, pranashalabhasana. Bring your chin forward, arms out to the side like airplane wings, feet together, toes and heels touch. 
lock your legs, point your toes, look up and lift. Arms, body, head, legs, everything lifts off the floor. So nice. 747 taking off looks really good. Just your hip bones on the floor, the rest of your body's in the air. Keep your feet together, toes and heels touch. Lock your legs, lift your thighs up, chin up, chest up, look up, come up a little higher at the end. Good, change, slowly lower down, tuck in your wings, look to the right and continue to breathe. Second set, bring your chin forward, arms out to the side, feet together, lock your legs, point your toes, look up and lift. Good, so this is the third posture in the spine strengthening series and it's so good for your back, right? You're lifting the thighs and the chest off the floor at the same time. So everything is lifting up, back muscles getting so strong. It's also a great opener through the chest and shoulders, feet together, thighs up, chin up, chest up, look up, come up a little higher at the end. Good, change, slowly lower down, tuck in your wings. Look to the left and breathe. Last one on the stomach, Dhanurasana, floor bow, chin on the floor, bend your legs, grab your feet from the outside, all five fingers together, thumbs with your index fingers, squeeze your tush, point your toes, look up towards the ceiling and start to kick into your hands. Continuously keep kicking without stopping, without intermission, roll forward once, Freeze between your ribs and hips, hold still. Do little sips of air in and out through the nose. Try to keep your knees in line with your hips. So knees in, feet out, wrist straight, look up to the ceiling, kick, kick, kick. Good, change, slowly lower down, look to the right, left ear on the towel. Notice if you're collapsing out of postures, try to come out of the posture with the same care that you go in. Second set, low chin on the floor, bend your legs, grab your feet from the outside, just below the toes. Point your toes, squeeze your buns, look up to the ceiling and kick really hard into your hands. Try to touch your big toes and your pinky toes to the ceiling all at once. Bring the shoulders a little closer together, open the chest a little bit more, look up towards the ceiling, knees in, feet out, wrist straight, look up, kick, 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 kick. Good, change, slowly lower down, look to your left, right ear on the floor. Okay. Bring your chin forward, optional five push-ups here. I'm gonna do them on my knees. No need to be a hero. Start to do your push-ups. So for push-ups, you bring elbows to a 45 degree angle. Okay, for chaturangas in the sun salutations at the beginning of class, you wanna hug your elbows in, just so you know the difference. Okay, good. Come to the top of your mat and towel. Perfect firm, Sutta Vajrasana. I'll show you from the side. Open your feet, open your knees, starting in tabletop position. You want your feet a little wider than your butt. As you're ready, start to walk your hands back and you're welcome to have your hands in front of you, beside you, or behind you the whole time. If you can sit down between your heels, put your hands on your feet, bend your right elbow down, knees never come off the floor. Left elbow down, drop your head back, head on the floor, tuck your chin in, neck shoulders on the floor, arms over your head, grab your elbows each other and hold. Wherever you are is perfect. You want a gentle stretch through your toes, ankles, knees, and hips, but never a point of pain. This posture is very effective for lower body tightness. And for a lot of us, you don't go very far into it. You just want to stretch. Good, change. Put your hands on your feet. Push yourself up. Head up last. Very nice. Turn around. Savasana. Head to the front of your mat, feet to the back of your mat. See if you can hop quickly into this neutral position. Lots of fresh blood circulating through the toes, ankles, knees, and hips. Second set, you're welcome to roll off to the side, skipping the sit up. Otherwise, legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up, push the air out, <laughs> elbows to floor, forehead to knees. Good, turn, come to the top of your mat and tall. Second set, fix for him, open your feet, open your knees. You can stay here the whole time. When you're ready, start to walk your hands back. So a little bit goes a long way, right? Especially if you're tight. If you can sit down between your heels, easy peasy, maybe try bringing your knees together in the second set. Knees on the floor, palms to soles. Right elbow, left elbow, head back, head on the floor, tuck your chin in, neck, shoulders on the floor, arms over your head, grab your elbows each other and hold. What I just described in 10 seconds takes some people 10 years and that's okay, right? The end goal has nothing to do with like sitting all the way down. The end goal has to do with like, you have a good quality of life, your knees and ankles feel okay. Change, put your hands on your feet, push yourself up, head up last, very nice, turn around, Savasana. So, um, we're having the yoga postures. The yoga postures should be in service to you, 
not the other way around. So if you find your goal is like, oh, I wanna go deeper in this posture, let that go. Be like, what can this posture do for me, right? Flip the script, legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. Good, it's like the opposite of the JFK quote. Okay, come to the back of your mat and tall for half tortoise, Ardha Kramasana, sit well. I'll show you from the side. Knees, feet together, hips on your heels, arms over your head, palms together, cross your thumbs, stretch up and slowly go down, chin away from your chest, stomach in. You're welcome to put one or both hands on the floor and walk yourself in, otherwise going down arms with ears. Forehead to floor, little fingers to floor, reach your arms forward, sink your hips down, stretch, stretch, stretch. Good, change, slowly come up, arms with your ears, stomach in, nice, arms down, turn around, savasana. If the sit-ups are starting to bother your back, just roll off to the side and skip one or all of them, right? If you ever find that your back is aching after yoga and like not in a good way, um, sit-ups are like the number one thing that I recommend skipping. You can always roll off to the side. Otherwise, legs together, arms over your head, flex your feet, squeeze your seat, sit up. Good, and sometimes we just skip things for like a month or a year and then we come back to it, right? So it's not like a definitive never do sit-ups. It's just like, Something to take note of. Knees, feet together, hips on your heels, arms over your head, palms together, cross your thumbs, stretch up and go down. I skipped sit-ups for like two years when I first started practicing. Bring your forehead to floor, little fingers to floor, reach your arms forward, sink your hips down, re-energize, reorganize, revitalize. Good, change, come on up, arms with your ears, stomach in, nice, arms down, Turn around, savasana. Okay, take a breath. Be here now. Legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. Keep your heels on the floor as you sit up. Good, come to the top of your mat and towel for camel ustrasana, our deepest back bend. I'm gonna stand back a little bit. If you have tight knees, you're welcome to roll up your mat. So there's a little bit more padding on your knees, six inches between your knees, six inches between your feet. Put your hands on your lower back at your waistband spine, thumbs outside, fingers down to the floor. Keep your eyes open, push your hips forward and start to look up towards the ceiling. If that feels good, lift your nose, lift your chin and drop your head back. Option to stay here or go back halfway with your hands on your back, freeze in the middle. Option to stay here or right hand down, grab your right heel, left hand down, grab your left heel. Thumbs outside, fingers inside, full palm grip on your heels. If you can't grab your heels yet, keep your hands on your back. Push your hips forward, lift your chest up, drop your head back, look for your toes behind you. Good, change, put your hands on your back, push yourself up, head up last. Very nice, turn around, savasana, head to the front of your mat, feet to the back of your mat. The same way that we acknowledge land at the beginning of class, I encourage you to acknowledge whatever is on your heart right now. Sometimes those deep back bends make us feel some kind of way, right? Whether that's dizzy or nauseous or some sort of emotion. So just naming it, acknowledging it, but not attaching. Second set, legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. Good. It's the difference between saying I'm nauseous versus I'm sick, right? You are not sick, you are experiencing something in your body. Second set, you can open your knees a little bit more, eight to 10 inches between your knees, still keep six inches between your feet, put your hands on your lower back, and this might be enough for today. You're already opening through your hips, chest, and throat. When you're ready, look up. If that feels okay, head back. Slowly go back halfway, and if it's all right, right hand down, left hand down, Thumbs outside, fingers inside, full palm grip on your heels. Press your hips forward, lift your chest up, drop your head back and breathe. Good, when you're ready, put your hands on your back, push up, head up last, very nice. Turn around, Savasana, good for you. Take a moment just to lie down on the floor and let the floor hold you up. Sometimes we're so, tense, so tight, so independent, we won't even let a darn floor hold us up, right? But just take a moment, allow yourself to be held. Moving on, legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. Good, 
So camel was our deepest back then. Now we do our deepest forward curl. Grab it, Sasangasana. I'll show you from the side. Sit knees feet together, hips on your heels. Make L's with your hands like little bunny ears. Grab your heels from the outside. Stretch up, pluck your chin to your chest, and go down. Shin to chest, forehead to knees, top of head to floor. Pull on your heels. Don't lose the grip. Lift your hips up. If there's a gap between your knees and head, you can walk your knees up one by one, but head stays in place. Um, if your grip is sliding where your feet are coming off the floor, ease up. There's very little weight in the neck and head. Good. Change. Hips down. Slowly uncurl. Take your time in transition. Head up last. Good. Turn around. Savasana. I don't know why, but this class always feels, or that posture always feels the best for me in this class Sundays at 4 p.m. So I, I have a complicated relationship with this posture of rabbit pose. I don't particularly love it, but for whatever reason, it always like feels the most accessible in this class on Sunday. So I hope you have sometimes similar experiences of noticing how time or date or season affects your practice. Legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. Good. Second set rabbit. Let's do it. Knees, feet together, hips on your heels. Grab your heels from the outside. Thumbs outside, fingers inside. Stretch up tall. Tuck your chin to your chest. Go down. Round your spine. Try to feel each part of your back moving. Forehead to knees, top of head to floor. Pull on your heels. Don't lose the grip. Lift your hips up. So lift your shoulders up. Clasp your hips forward. Squeeze your heels together. Suck your stomach in. Round your spine. Good, change hips down, slowly uncurl, so your head comes up last. Very nice. Turn around, Savasana. I'm going to do a quick time check. Okay, great. Head to the front of your mat, feet to the back of your mat. We're going to do one set of head to knee, one set of stretching, and we're going to flow that straight into spine twist. Fun. Legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. Everybody's doing great. Okay, here we go. Last head to knee posture, just one set. Right leg out, left leg all the way in. Two legs should make an L, a 90 degree angle, so your hips stay square. Inhale your arms over your head. Exhale, turn to your right. Tuck your chin to your chest, go down. You can bend your right leg if you need to. Try to touch your knee and head together. Interlock your 10 fingers up to the webbing, under the ball of your foot. Flex your toes back, bend your elbows down. If your forehead and knee aren't touching yet, bend your leg a little bit more. Bend elbows down, left elbow down. Left shoulder down, roll into the left. Good, change, arms up. Left leg out, right leg all the way in. Stretch up, turn to your left, tuck your chin to your chest. Bend your knee as much as you need to touch your knee and head together. This is the last of the rounded spine abdominal compression posture, so suck your stomach in. If you can touch your knee and head together easily with a bent leg, see if you can straighten your leg, lock your leg, elbows down, right elbow down, right shoulder down, roll into the right. Good, change, arms up, both legs out in front of you. If you're skipping, sit up, stay here. Otherwise, lay on your back, let your spine realign, and sit up. <sighs> Kashimotanasana stretching. I'll show you from the side. Bend your knees, hook onto your big toes with your peace sign fingers, middle and index fingers, thumbs on top. Lift your chest and start to walk your butt back, right, left, right, left. So at first, when you have tight hamstrings, which is really normal, keep your knees bent and fold forward, stomach to thighs, chest to knees, chin away from your chest. If you can straighten your legs, see if you can lock your legs and then go down with a flat back, stomach to thighs, chest to knees, one day toes and head touch. Good, change, come up, stay seated for spine twist. Bend your left leg on the floor, touch your right heel to your left knee corner. Right arm close behind you, left arm up, stretch up and over. Grab your left knee with your left hand, hand, heel and knee touch. Inhale, stretch up, stomach in. Exhale, look over your right shoulder, twist. You can keep your right hand behind you for balance. You can also grab your hip, your waistband, one day your inner thigh, the half bind. Inhale, stretch up, stomach in. Exhale, look over your right shoulder, twist, twist, twist. Good, change, unwind. Swap out your legs, bend your right leg on the floor. I'll show you from the side, touch your left heel to your right knee corner. You're welcome to have your right leg straight out in front of you as well. Left arm close behind you, right arm up, make a circle and over. Grab your right knee with your right hand, hand, heel and knee, all touch. Inhale, stretch up, abdomen in. Exhale, look over your left shoulder, twist. You can have your hand behind you or do the half bind. Just make sure like if you're leaning back a whole lot, it's not so casual, right? Stretch up instead. Inhale, stretch up, stomach in. Exhale, look over your left shoulder, twist, twist, twist. Good, change, unwind, turn around. 
the last one. My, one of my favorite yoga jokes. How many yoga teachers does it take to screw in a light bulb? One to hold the light bulb and one to say twist, twist, twist. I just changed the light bulb before class too. So very apropos. Let's finish strong. Final breathing, legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. <sighs> Wonderful. Come to the middle of your space. Sit well, knees, feet together, hips on your heels, hands on your thighs. If it hurts to sit on your feet, don't do it. Sit on your butt, crisscross applesauce. Sit up tall, lick your lips, swallow a couple times, concentrate, meditate. Don't forget to have fun. Final breathing, exhale through your mouth. four, three, two, one. So the idea is you exhale through your mouth. As you exhale through your mouth, snap your abdomen in. And when your stomach relaxes, the lungs automatically take in air. So all you do is exhale. Okay, sit up tall, shoulders down. Here we go. four, three, two, one. Good for you. Honor yourself. Give yourself a hug. High five. Pat on the back. Turn around. Final savasana. Close your eyes. Open your arms and legs. You can starfish. Do whatever feels good for you. You can lie on your side or on your stomach. Just settling in to a final moment of rest. An opportunity to reset and to let go of that which no longer serves you. Draw a slow inhale in through your nose all the way down to your lower abdomen. And then exhale through your nose and let it all go, just sinking in. Stay in final savasana as long as you want. When it is time for your yoga practice to be over, I encourage you to try to stay a little bit mindful, right? Even though, you know, we're in our homes, it's not like we're at a yoga studio, still like, you know, walk softly, be gentle with yourself, take your time getting up. Have a wonderful Sunday. I hope to see you very soon. Love you guys. Bye.